is more concerned about protecting its reputation than protecting students. Oh my gosh. I just remember being very dizzy. Oh Fawn Cooch is watching one of her worst days. Guys, captured on video. I don't really remember a lot of it very clearly. Her father can't bring himself to watch it. I can't do this. Fawn is a sophomore at Glenelg High School in Howard County. This past January, she was involved in a fight with another student in class who was seen on video, punching her in the head repeatedly. Photographs of Fawn's injuries show bruises to both of her knees, swollen eye sockets, and injuries to her head. Chunks of her hair were lying on the floor. That's not even all of the hair that she ripped out. Where was your teacher? She tried to break it up, and then the girl who attacked me hit our art teacher. But this family is not only upset about the fight. They reached out to Project Baltimore because of what happened immediately after. It's like they try to sweep everything under the rug. Howard County Public Schools is one of the best performing school systems in Maryland. In addition to test scores, graduation rates and college enrollment are among the highest in the state, while suspensions and violent incidents are among the lowest. And this family says that is a reputation the district protects. I think it just goes back to like Howard County trying to keep everything like contained to its school and not let situations like that get out and damage the reputation. Fawn says after the fight, she was taken to the nurse's office. She says she was asking the school to call her father, but no one did. Cooch, who was working at the time, says he found out his daughter was injured from his daughter. By her, correct. The school system never told you. Nope. They never called you. Nope. The family then called Howard County Police, who responded to Glen L. Fawn and her father say administrators tried to talk them out of pressing charges, asking them to let the school handle it. Fawn plans to press criminal charges anyway, likely second-degree assault against a ninth grader in this video. I want to press the charges because obviously what I experienced was very impactful on like my education and like my daily life. Howard County Schools declined an interview to discuss this family's allegations that the district is more concerned with protecting its reputation than protecting its students. Instead, we received a statement that avoided the issue, saying since the incident and any associated responses involve minors, we are unable to discuss it publicly, adding the Howard County Police Department confirmed they too are unable to clarify the facts of the incident since it involves juveniles. Before this fight happened, did you feel safe in school? Yes. Do you feel safe now? No. Project Baltimore cannot obtain a student's disciplinary record due to privacy laws, but according to Fawn, the other student was suspended for four days and return to school. My grades have suffered a lot because I'm so like stressed and like worried about making it like in between classes or making it like during lunch that that's like my main thought during the day and I find it hard to focus on my schoolwork. Her father can't focus either. I'm worried every day that something's going to happen. I do feel helpless. You know, because I'm not in that school every day with her. I'm Chris Pabst, and this is Project Baltimore.